Hello everyone, welcome to Network Talks. Today's topic is how to add any web application behind F5. So we will see how, what are the steps that we need to take for taking any application behind F5. So for this, I have created one server here. So if I go to IP config on my local system, we'll find the one of the adapter I have address this strain 1214220. And I have configured one web based application using IS on my local system. So if I'm accessing it through browser on port 80, I'm getting the page welcome to network talks. Now I want to take this application behind F5. So once it is taken, uh, I should be able to see the same page which I'm getting using actual server IP address. So let's see how we can do it. So this is the web UI of F5 load balancer. Many of you have already seen this. So we will see how we can take that application behind F5. So for taking any application behind F5, first we need to go to the local traffic and need to add node using IP address of the server or the FQDN. If you really want to know like what is a node pool and virtual server, then you can see my last video. So I will give link of that particular video in the description. So you will get an idea what actually it means. So I will add node using its IP address. So I will copy this IP address and just go to the node and add plus. I will add my site IP address. Sorry. Here the node IP address. Okay, and just finish it. Now I will add pool. So click on the pool. And just I will give my name as my site pool. I'm keeping this uh, health monitor as TCP. So F5 does the health check of the services available on the object which we are going to add in this pool. If any of the service is down, or it is not responding then F5 will mark that pool as down so under node list I will select a node which is created using my site and port will be 80 as that binding is done on the HTTP click add now once it is finished if that particular server is reachable from the F5 and the service is uh, listening on the port 80 then uh, this pool will come up so it takes one two second I will just refresh the page now if you see it is showing green it means the server is uh, reachable from the F5 and that service is also running now I will go to the virtual server so I have already created one virtual server on the F5 which is a test one so I will just bind that particular pool that we have created to this virtual server so uh, once you open the virtual server go to the resources and give the name or pool name which is my site pool and just update it okay now as our uh, available pool is uh, bind to virtual server now virtual server is showing as available earlier its status was unknown because there was nothing map behind that now as my virtual server is up now i should be able to access the same web page using my virtual server ip address so my virtual server ip address is 10.16.254 see i am able to see the same web, web page which i was getting using internal ip address so this is how it works now if uh, we want to take any uh, application and it should be accessible using any URL then you need to map the DNS entries for it now I will just give you one quick demo by adding the local host entry you need to go to the drivers and open the host file under notepad now for example I have added my dot domain dot com DNS entry against this IP address okay which is our virtual server I will save the save the file now if I go to the command prompt 
and if I ping sorry that URL which is my dot domain dot com if you see it is resolving our virtual server IP address now I should be able to access the same web page using our domain now which is my dot domain dot com see you are getting the same page so this way uh, you can take any windows or linux based application behind f5 hope it helps you if you have any queries just let me know in the comment section and please do like my video share my video and subscribe to my channel which is network talks thank you